and we'll work on the those hamstrings and outer hips a bit here, a little stretch. So grab your strap and let's bring the strap around the ball of the right foot. And let's begin to explore that right hamstring a little bit more. So let's do it gradually. So don't push it right there. So keep a slight bend in your right knee first and then just push the heel away. So you're not straightening the leg completely yet. You're just trying to straight, uh, to stretch the back of your ankle, the calf. And you're drawing that leg towards you. Remember, knee still bent. And so you might not be feeling that hamstring that much. And that's fine. See if you can feel the calf and the back of your ankle. Toes drawing towards your shin. Take another breath in. And breath out. And as you do this, remember to keep that lower back planted and as best you can to keep your shoulder blades planted too. So grab the strap at the right place so that you can keep a bend in your elbows. And I will work towards a bit more straightening of that right knee. So you're still pushing the heel away, you're still drawing the toes towards your shin, but now you're working on that knee. And you can straighten and bend. And do that a few times just to gently get into that right hamstring. And then you might feel the, the next straightening. You can pause there for a moment, a bit more. You might be able to, again, push that heel away a little further. And you might play with drawing the leg in a little bit more towards your chest. So it might not seem like it, but quite a bit of work happening here. If we take it in stages, it can be quite fatiguing. So just take that into account. The fact that we were bending and straightening also helps us engage that right thigh. And when we engage that right thigh, that right hamstring gets permission to relax because they're opposite muscles. So from here, let's take another breath in. And then on your exhale, let's bend that right knee and slowly release that right foot back to the mat. Take a moment. So knees are bent. I'm planting both feet. I've been doing this with my left knee bent. So I'm just going to notice what's happening. Notice any sensations. And take a breath in. And breath out. And I'm going to check in with my neck. So again, I might need to bring that chin back towards the chest and find again length in the back of the neck. I might need to check my shoulder blades, plant them, check my lower back and plant it back on the mat. And then from here, let's go to the left side. So now the strap around the ball of that left foot. And we'll take it by stages, just like we did on the right side. And stay open to noticing differences between sides. My left hamstring is not as sensitive as my right. So here I might not feel as much. And see what it's like for you. So let's start with a bend in that left knee. Let's draw the left toes towards the shin and let's really push that left heel away. So try to feel that back of the ankle stretch. Maybe you feel that compression of the flexion on the front of the ankle. And see if you can feel maybe a stretch through the calf. 
And keeping that left knee bent and again, check in with those arms. Grab the strap just at the right place so your elbows can be bent and your shoulder blades can be planted. And let's take a breath in. Breath out. And then let's play with a bend in the knee. So let's bend that knee a little bit more. We're still pushing the heel away. And then let's try straightening. And let's do that a few more times. Just gently getting into that left hamstring. We'll stay bend and straighten. And then the next time you straighten that left knee, see if you can stay there. And again, push the heel away. And maybe try drawing that leg in a little further towards your chest. Remember to keep that thigh or some engagement at least in that left thigh. And you re-engage by bending and then keeping that engagement as you straighten. And let's pause. So no holding breath. Deep breath in. Long breath out. If you can, in and out through the nose. And take another breath in. And then on your exhale, release that left foot. Bend the knee, plant the foot on the mat, and drop that strap next to you. Take a moment here, hands to your belly. Just notice any sensations in the legs, the hips, anywhere else in the body. Take another breath in. And breath out. So from here, let's bring those knees towards the chest, one hand to each knee. And now some gentle circles with those knees. So that gentle rotation in the hip, switching direction. And then draw those knees into your chest and let's cross the right ankle just over the left thigh, going into a figure four. Drawing that left thigh in, resisting, pushing the right knee away, flexing both feet. And again, keeping that lower back planted, those shoulder blades planted. Take another breath in. And breath out. And then let's release and switch sides. Left ankle comes over. Draw that right thigh in. Push that left knee away. And just breathe here. And now release this figure four, knees towards your chest, and then a gentle twist. Let's open those arms out into a T and let's lower the knees to the right. And then here you could add a little extra if you want. So your right hand could come to the outside of that left thigh. And then you could push that left thigh away so towards the right as you turn your gaze towards your left.
And now as you inhale, make your way back through center. And then let's lower those knees to the left. And then again, if you want to take it a little further, left arm over that right thigh and using it as leverage, you pushing that thigh away and you using that to turn your gaze towards the right and get a bit of an extra um, twist and stretch. And now use your inhale to come back through center. And then plant your feet wide. Let your knees rest against one another. And let's bring those hands back to the belly. And let's take a few breaths here, allowing that belly to expand into the hands. And then to move away from the hands. And then again. And it might also be a good moment to once again check in with the back of the neck. Notice if that chin is lifting, compressing the back of the neck. If so, draw that chin towards your chest. Notice the back of the head sliding back a little further. And the back of the neck getting a little longer. Let's take another full breath in and full breath out. And if this is a comfortable place for Shavasana, you might stay right here. If there is a more comfortable place, you might find that one. And then wherever you are, let's take a breath. And then on the exhale, let's allow that exhale to drop out of the mouth. Let's allow that body to drop into the mat. And for the next few moments, end of practice. See if you can allow yourself to be right here. No more searching for something else. No more searching for a stretch, a sensation. No more searching for a steady breath. Just no more searching in general. Can you be right here for what it is? Nothing else to do. bringing your attention back to your breath and making that breath a bit more obvious and using that breath to find some gentle movement back into that body. Taking your time to wiggle fingers and toes, 
Rotate ankles and wrists. Draw the chin from one shoulder to the other. Maybe take a swallow. And as you are ready, rolling onto one side and taking a moment to pause. And taking a breath in. And maybe exhaling out with a sigh. And then slowly making our way up and we'll all meet in a comfortable seat, resting hands at heart. Maybe a little space between your palms. And right here, acknowledging the practice, acknowledging ourselves for today practicing, acknowledging those who practiced with us, acknowledging those who made it possible and ending with a word that means that the light in me recognizes and honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.